Welcome to the sixth episode of the Actuators and Sensors edition of the Ultimate Arduino tutorial series. In this episode you learn how to read and write SD cards with the Arduino Uno and a so-called micro SD card adapter module. The micro SD card adapter is a low cost module that is very easy to spot when you look for cheap modules to read or write SD cards. If you order this module directly from the Far East, the price is typically less than one dollar. Keep in mind that the module reads and writes only micro SD cards. Moreover, it can read and write only micro SD cards formatted as FAT16 or FAT32 when used with the standard SD library of the Arduino IDE. So within the next minutes it is shown how this module can be utilized. The micro SD card adapter communicates via SPI to the Arduino. So if you're already familiar with modules that use SPI, you probably know already how the pin layout will look like. Okay, so the module has six pins. We start with the chip select pin, which is connected to digital pin number four by the yellow wire. Then next, the SCK pin is connected by the blue wire to digital pin number 13. Then the MOSI pin is connected to digital pin number 11 by the white wire. Next the MISO pin is connected just in between the SEK and MOSI pin to the Arduino's digital pin number 12 by the green wire. After that comes the voltage supply. The module's VCC pin can be connected to the 5 volt pin or to the 3.3 volt pin of the Arduino since the module has a voltage regulator. In this tutorial I go with the Arduino's 5 volt pin. And as a last step we connect the module's ground pin to one of the Arduino's ground pins. Okay, so let's have also a look at a fritzing file. So here's the Arduino Uno and here's the micro SD card adapter. We started with the chip select pin which was connected to digital pin number four by the yellow wire. Then we had the SCK pin, which was connected to digital pin number 13. After that, we connected the MOSI pin to digital pin number 11 by the white wire. After that, the MISO pin was connected to digital pin number 12. And then we took care of the voltage supply. So we connected the VCC pin to the Arduino's 5 volt pin and the module's ground pin to one of the Arduino's ground pins. Okay, let's have a look at the code. First, make sure that you have installed the newest version of the SD library. To do this, go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries, and then search for SD Library. Then you should easily find the SD Library and can check which version is installed. Some older versions, such as version 110, do often not work with the micro SD card adapter. In our program, we start with including the SD library. Then we define a variable for the chip select pin. Next, we create a file object that is used to read and write data. In the setup function, we open a serial connection to print out debug messages later. And on the next line, we set the chip select pin to output mode. 
and then initialize the SD card. If something goes wrong here, a message is printed out. In general, I recommend to add as many debug messages as possible when working with the SD library, because a lot of things can go wrong. So for example, the card might not be formatted as FAT16 or FAT32. In this tutorial, we will read and write data of a file named file.txt. In order to have an empty file each time the Arduino is started, it is checked whether the file already exists. And if so, the file is deleted. In the loop function, the file is opened to write some data. If no file exists, a new file is created. If opening the file was successful, a random number between 0 and 9 is generated. Then this number is written to the file and also printed out. Pay attention to this line. As we open the file, we also have to close it. In the second part of the loop function, we read data from the SD card. First we open the file again, but this time in read mode. These lines read the content of the SD card and print it out to the serial monitor. And again, we also close the file. Finally, we wait for 5 seconds so that the SD card and the serial monitor are not flooded by random numbers. Ok, let's try out reading and writing some values to an SD card. So I plug in an SD card into the micro SD adapter. And now I upload the code to the Arduino. So this takes a while. But yeah, as you can see, so writing and also reading works. We are writing random numbers and also reading random numbers. In case something doesn't work, so what you can do is to change the chip select pin to 10 and back to 4, so this helps sometimes. And also what you can do is to check out the card info example of the SD library. So if you upload it to the Arduino, it can give you also some indications what went wrong. Okay, then I thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial was useful to you.